Taking action for you. Action News 5 at 6 starts now. As we begin with a live look over the mighty Mississippi, looking out over some of the condos downtown, some of the hotels there where we've seen sun, clouds, and a little bit of showers to start our week. Thanks so much for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Joe Birch. My co-anchor Joy Redmond has the evening off. Severe weather rolling through the tropics as Hurricane Beryl made landfall on the Texas coast this morning. Let's check in with first alert. Uh, meteorologist Spencer Denton, who has our first alert to the impacts we're going to feel here in the Mid-South. Spencer. Yeah, Joe, that uh, same storm system that is now a tropical storm is going to continue to weaken, but be strong enough to potentially produce a few spin up tornadoes. We have a marginal risk in green. That's a one on a scale of one to five for much of the Mid-South, and you can see from Little Rock to the South, that's where the biggest risk for severe weather is going to be. This system is about 300 miles away. The circulation of barrel is down here near Shreveport, numerous tornado warnings wrapping around the east and northern side of this system and tornado watches extend all the way to central Arkansas. Here's a look at the timing. This is Futurecast, your first alert to storms possibly popping up once again by 8 to 10 p.m. and especially into the overnight hours. Any of these storms could contain rotation and a brief spin up tornado through tomorrow morning, at least through 6, 7, 8 a.m. So we'll have to watch the radar very, very closely in your hourly planner. Rain chances and storm chances will go up tonight. So you want to stay tuned to the first alert weather app for the latest and I'll have the latest on when these storms will get out of here and more on that severe risk coming up. All right, Spencer, breaking news here tonight at 6. Memphis Mayor Paul Young announced a last minute news conference moments ago and announced that Assistant MPD Police Chief Sean Jones will no longer be Assistant Chief at Memphis. The announcement comes after last week's discovery that Jones' primary residence is not within the state of Tennessee. It's in Georgia. Imani Williams joins us live from City Hall where she heard Mayor Young and Interim Chief C.J. Davis announce the news. Imani? Taking action for you. Action News 5 at 10 starts now. A family from Arkansas has felt the effects of what was Hurricane Burrow firsthand as they prepared to board a cruise ship leaving from Galveston, Texas. Mackenzie Dellinger and her family thought they were headed for a week of relaxation, but were met with the opposite. Even before boarding the ship, she saw Burrow in full force, and we are feeling the remnants right this second here in the Mid-South. Meteorologist Spencer Denton has your first alert to what we can expect from the storm. And Spencer, is the rain we have now directly connected to Barrel? Yeah, that's the moisture, Joe, that's feeding in from Barrel tonight. We've had several severe thunderstorm warnings across North Mississippi, and now we don't have any at the moment, but that may change as we go through the night. We do have a tornado warning just a couple of counties away from uh, Memphis right now. This is near Stuttgart, Arkansas. Tornado warning, that's just outside of our coverage area, but you can see pockets of heavy rain that line up along the uh, Tennessee Mississippi state line and you can see where we had a couple of those warnings uh, over the last hour or so.